So hello everybody, how are you today? In today's Power BI video, we are going to talk about the matrix. I'm going to show you 14 things that you probably wanted to do with the matrix, but either you didn't know it was possible or you couldn't find it. So let's see if we can master this thing once and for all. Okay guys, so welcome back. This is what we're going to do. We're going to talk about how to customize the matrix easily, how to bring or remove totals, subtotals, how to have a step layout like, you know, yeah, rows in columns, how to put uh, values in col We're going to do everything, okay? So 14 things. So let's get started. We're going to start with the styling. Here's the thing. Here we have a matrix that has on the rows product name and category name, and then we have three measures, sales, previous year sales, and year over year sales. And the, you know, the out of the box matrix looks like Excel, not very pretty in my opinion, you know, beauty is in the eyes of the beholder, but in my opinion, it's not very pretty. But, you know, if you have to modify everything yourself, it takes a long time. But if you go here to style, the Power BI team has produced some like themes for matrix. And for example, the minimal, I think is quite pretty. You see, it gives a modern look of a table and you just click in there and then you're good to go. It's super, super easy. Another thing that you probably want to do is, for example, change the text size. And what happens? You have text size. You, to change in the matrix, you have to change your columns, on rows, on values, on all subtotals and totals, which is nuts. So how do you do that quickly? You go here to text you search and then it will appear all the places where you can change the text height and then you can just you know column headers 13 row headers 13 that didn't change 13 you see right so it starts changing everything at once without actually having to go through opening everything and closing everything and all that stuff. Another tip that I'm going to show you, I, I did that on one of my quick tip videos. Now that you have all this open, if you want to close everything and reset everything, just close this thing and then close baby and then open it again. Open and then it will reset. Okay. Easy. Now, another common thing that you probably want to do is alignment. So things are aligned like in Excel, but depending on what you're trying to do, align, where is it? Just alignment. So you see, it will show you all the alignments, all the possibilities that you have for alignment, which is actually quite good so you don't forget. And then here you can go for the headers if you want to center them and then for the row the headers is this one maybe let's say that you want to put them to the right for example and then for the fields you have here you have to do column by column you can see here sales center and then you have to go to uh, previous year centered you see and it's centering and so on and so forth. So it takes a little bit of time, but it is faster than if you have to, you know, just go through each one of the settings one by one. And then again, close this thing. Can you please close? And then open it. And then boom, you get reset everything. Okay, now the next thing I want to show you is, you know, sometimes more often than not, you have a space dedicated for your matrix. And as you're putting things in there, it out to sizes. So, you know, it, it just doesn't look very pretty. So here on column headers, you have actually the possibility to say don't out to size. I pick the size of you and then don't change it because it does it very often and it tends to be annoying. So that's a nice trick. Um, the next one is on the row headers, the plus minus value. It took me a long time to get used to it because for me, plus minus value, I thought it was on values. And so I always look for it on values, but it is on rows. So you put a plus on a row. So it is in here, row headers. Uh, there you have it, plus minus. I wish it was turned on by default. 
but it is not so we have to turn it on every time you can put it on your theme obviously but i guess that not a lot of us have the themes anyhow next one um here on row headers as you can see i have a hierarchy here yeah product name and then category probably should have the other way around but if i want to have the category that is below you see here on a column instead of below on a drill down what you need to do is to go to step layout off and then it will appear it will appear only if you have expanded the rows and that was highly confusing for me in the beginning because i would say i would read an instruction just like turn off a step layout and then nothing happened but it's because you have to click on here and expand everything and when you expand it it will get on columns instead of rows okay so that is why nothing happens when you click on the step layout okay the next one is i have my cheat list in front of me so i don't forget anything let's see values show values let me go to values there is an option and this is probably not very common but it is you have the option to put these measures as rows instead of columns let me show you if you go here and put show on rows you see that it like it and pivots the table and puts it on rows it could be very useful actually in some cases not such a bad setting this bounded row style would basically means is you know like the default you have one color for each row so if you want to or for every other row so if you want to remove that you do it here now we have a minimalistic layout so that doesn't have bounded rows that's why you can't see it Okay, so now let's talk about what you probably are waiting for, and is subtotals and grand totals. As you can see here, uh, for each row we get a total, and then we get a final total. And you would expect that there will be a turn on subtotals and turn on off grand totals, but it's not. There's only a turn on subtotal. Why? Because for Power BI, technically, a grand total is a subtotal. And I wish <laughs> that the Power BI team would actually differentiate from both. And even if it's not, technically, for any human being on this planet that is a grand total, put it on grand totals. Putting that aside, now that we know that everything is a subtotal, if you want to get rid of both, you just get rid of them. And then as you can see here, there are no totals and no subtotals. That, that is clean good let's say like okay Ruth but I want to have only the sub the grand total the, like the real grand total so you have to go here not there you have to turn this on first and then you have the total and you say when I open here I don't want to see the subtotals you have to go here to per row level and then you have to do, 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 turn it off on product name because this is the subtotal for product so you have to turn it off there and then you get rid of them but you still keep the total you see down there okay if you want to do the other way around well you keep product name you get rid of the category name because the total there is the total for a category that's why they call it subtotals because it's a subtotal category for each, it's a subtotal for each category name. So, <laughs> it is as easy as that. Nowadays, let's turn that thing on again. You can actually change these and then you can put total for a category and then it will change the name. And you can do it for the subtotals too, which is quite nice. Um, something else that you can do, you can change this to the top or the bottom. And that will work also on the subcategories. You will go up and down depending on what you're trying to do. Yes, sometimes you wouldn't want to. You won't have it on the top, believe it or not. So that's nice. Um, I think we've done all the subtitles. Let me know if you still have questions about any of the settings. Something else that I want to show, show you two more things is the uh, field formatting. 
So you have the possibility to change for every of the column. Column. Oh, yeah, I have one more thing that I cannot forget, but we'll do it at the end. So feel for Madden. You have the possibility to change for these columns, and I'll explain you what, what I mean with column. Um, so you can say, for example, I want to have thousands. You see that it changed to thousands now. Alignment center, you see that it didn't change because the apply to total, for whatever reason, is always off. Everything is on, but not totals. Anyhow, you put thousand in there, and then if you want to change for the previous year, you do exactly the same thing, put it in there, and then you say, I want thousands, and I want it pink. Why not? Where is the pink? There is pink. Mm -hmm. And then you can ch choose to say, okay, I also want the header pink, and I want it to apply to values, subtotals, and to totals. Okay, so you have quite a nice granularity as to what you want to achieve. And the conditional formatting, it is conditional formatting. It gives you granularity about how do you want to condition format stuff. So for example, year by year, I have the data bars in there. Do you see them? You have the possibility to have font color, background color. You have the new icons. You see them in there, right? So... Now, what did I, why did I say columns? Here's the thing. Let me go back uh, to subtotals. If you go here to subtotals, you see that there is row subtotals, but it's not column subtotals. You can't see them anywhere. And you're probably wondering why, if you want to you know, get the totals not only here, but on this led here. Let me show you. It is because this matrix has no columns in there. So if I would put a column, let's say that I'm on category name, two columns, and then I go back, that drove me nuts. So why don't I have category? So wait a second, wait for it. Subtotals, there you have it. Columns, subtotals. So this is dynamic. If you're not allowed to change it, it doesn't show, okay? So those are my top tips. If you still have questions about the matrix, let me know below and I will try to find out if it's possible and do another video, okay? But hopefully this allows you to do the most essential things on the matrix, the things that you probably have wanted to do or tried to do but couldn't. So this is all for me. Have a great day. Enjoy your uh, week. Stay home, stay safe, and I'll see you again on the next video. Until then, take care.